couple uh, story that I want to tell you. Sure. And I really need some guidance on it. Mm-hmm. So shit, uh, it's like um, I have I have going I have been going on some through hardships, and I'm in a really bad situation right now. The thing is, uh, it was about someone I really liked, and I wanted to get a car done with them. Now, I from the beginning, I made it very clear to them that I want to do a nikah with them. And uh, it's been two years since I've been out that person. That person said they, they need to complete their studies to be able to, you know, do a nikah with me. Now, they had their family involved. I, I had my mother involved in them. So, like, uh, uh, except the fathers, uh, both of the families knew each, about each other. So the shift, the thing is, we uh, knew each other from two years. Uh, we first broke up, then we got together, then broke up. So it's three times it happened. Now this time, uh, they set up some conditions with me, her family and uh, them. Then if uh, it will only work if I go and meet the girl or like the girl's family, right? Now, of course, I know it's uh, not permissible in Islam, but that was the only condition. They wanted to meet me, her family wanted to meet me. So I went and met the girl and everything. And the shit, the thing is, um, that girl was not a right person. She wasn't on her dean, and you know, like uh, her everything wasn't the best. Like uh, Imran, she was, she was. In- Imran, may I interrupt you yes. and I ask you kindly get into the point because there is a long queue of questioners. If you can just okay, present okay. your so, question, that would be cool. Yes, yes. Uh, so the shit, the thing is, uh, in the end. Uh, be it like a month ago or two months ago, uh, things got like really messy between us and we broke up. And uh, of course, I was hurt that time and I found out that she cheated on me that time. So there was from my side, I just kind of told her that if she breaks up with me again, I wasn't forcing her. But I was telling that what I found out that she cheated on me, I was showing it to her family and let them know about, uh, you know, what she was doing. Now, she said that I blackmailed her and I threatened her and stuff. And uh, she, you know, like broke off with me. But she promised me, like, you know, uh, that she would marry me and everything. And broke up, promised for after three years. And I have been, have been really repenting to Allah and everything. And I pray five times a day and everything. But uh, I just can't, you know, like, I don't know if I'm in the wrong hair or what should I do in this situation. Yeah, Imran, with my due respect, a lot of people break up on daily basis. Whether she was cheating on you or not, you have not been married yet. Whether she was righteous or you figured out that she's not righteous, it was just mere engagement. You never got married, did you? No, we never got married. But Thank you so Islam, much. Thank you so much. I propose to a girl, the engagement is to give me an opportunity to find out more about her and she finds out more about me. She doesn't suit you, end of chapter move into a new page and end of quote is not really a big deal Allah have shown you before actually consummate a marriage before you process a marriage contract that she's not the right person for you now whatever she says whatever you say all of that it doesn't matter now alhamdulillah you realize that she's not the right person for you may Allah grant you a goodly spouse and a goodly offspring where else barakallahu feek Imran Brothers and sisters, do me a favor. If you have a story to tell, there is the counseling sessions. You can book a session and say whatever you want to say. The time is very limited. We have limited time and large volume of callers. Make it quick, make it specific, get to the point. Thank you, Jazakumullah khairan. And may Allah bless you, Imran, I believe, and give you a good wife. Amin.